All right, we are gonna talk a little bit about dimensioning. And dimensioning, all it is, is adding measurements to a sketch. So we have to do it in kind of a specific way, and I'm going to show you that as we work through dimensioning this multi-view sketch. Now, the first thing that we wanna think about when we are dimensioning is the different dimensions of a shape. Because technically we're looking at a 3D shape, we're just looking at each side individually. So all of these sketches are this same shape right here. So if you sketch this isometrically, you would have the same shape. You would just have it sketched in different ways. Now on our top view, we can see two different dimensions. On our front view, we can see two different dimensions. And on our side view, we can see two different dimensions. Remember, our multi-view is showing this 3D object in 2D, two dimensions, so we can see two different dimensions from every single side, instead of seeing three dimensions all at the same, all at the same time like we would in our isometric. So on our top view, we can see the width and the depth of an object. The width of an object is from side to side. So this is our side right here. Remember, our side is always on the right hand side of our object. So from side to side is gonna be our width. So if we look at our sketch, we can see from side to side or the width of our object. We can also see the depth of our object. And the depth of our object is from front to back. So if this is the front of our object right here, this would be the back, so between my two pointer fingers right now. So we can see from the very front of the object to the very back of the object. So we can see the depth here. Those are the two dimensions that we can see on our top view. If we go down to our front view, we can still see the width. We can still see from side to side, but we can't see the depth anymore because it kind of disappears back here. What we can see is the height because now we can see from the bottom to the top. So we can see the width, which is side to side, and we can see the height, which is top to bottom. If we move to our side view, we can see, we can still see the height, so we can see from top to bottom. Now we can't see the width anymore because our other side is over here. What we can see is the depth. So we can see from the front of our object, which is right here, to the back of our object, which is right here. Okay, so we can see from the front to the back. Now, there are specific spots that each of these dimensions will belong in on our sketch, okay? We don't wanna put anything on the outsides of our sketch. We wanna keep it all in between the views, so towards the middle of our paper. Over here, so from here to here, we can see the depth of our shape. We can also see the depth of our shape On our side view over here. So we can see the depth in these two different locations. So from front to back. For our width, we're always going to have it down here. So below our top view or above our front view. Those are the two different places we can see width. Height we can see to the right of our front view or to the left of our side view. So our depths are here, our widths are here, and our heights are here. Now, let's go into actually putting some measurements on our paper. So I'm gonna start with our depth measurements. And on this, you're gonna have two depth measurements. You're not always gonna have two depth measurements on a sketch, but on this one in particular, you're going to have two. It just depends on what the shape looks like. So if we remember, our depth is from front to back, and I could see this on either the top view or on the side view. I'm gonna put both of my depth measurements on my top view because I think they're gonna be more easily seen on that top view, okay? So I'm gonna do the entire width of this object, so all the way from the front, which is right here, to all the way in the back, which is right here, okay? The lines that I'm adding right now are called leading lines. The leading lines basically show that I'm measuring from this point to this point, okay? So it's showing 
the distance that I am measuring in that particular moment. So after you draw the leading lines, you're actually going to measure your shape. So if I look there, the total depth of my object is one and one half inches. So right in the middle of those two leading lines, I'm gonna put one and one half inches and make sure you label your measurement. That's always very important. And then the last thing that I'm gonna do is to show that this measurement goes with these two leading lines. I'm just gonna add some arrows. So you draw your leading lines that shows from what point to what point you're measuring. You measure the actual object, so don't measure your paper, measure your actual object. Put that number in the middle of those two leading lines and then add the arrows, okay? So let's do this again. I'm gonna do the my other width measurement, which is the width of just, not the width, the depth, I apologize. The depth of from right here to right here. So we just did the depth of all the way from the front to all the way to the back. Now I'm gonna do the depth of just this single cube right here. So I'm gonna reuse this leading line right here because I still wanna measure from this point of my shape. And then I'm gonna add another one right here. So now I'm measuring from this leading line to this leading line. So I'll take my ruler again and I'll figure out that one block here is three fourths of an inch. So I'll put my measurement here right in between the two leading lines that I just created. And then I'll add my arrows to show that three fourths of an inch goes with this. Okay. I could keep going. I could add some width measurements here. I could add some width measurements here. I could add some height measurements here could add height measurements here. I don't want to add any more depth measurements because I have the two depths that I already need up here. I could technically move these over here. It doesn't matter what view of your sketch you put them on as long as you're only putting them on there once. We don't want to duplicate measurements. Okay, so one way to recognize if you've duplicated a measurement is to look at your leading lines. It's gonna be a little more difficult from your top to your side view when you're looking at the depths, but say you were trying to figure out if you duplicated a measurement from your top to your front view, and these would be width measurements because the width measurements are either below your top view or above your front view, okay? One easy way would be to extend your leading lines, and you can do this imaginarily. You don't have to do it on your actual paper, but you could extend those leading lines and if they don't match up exactly with another set of leading lines, that means you didn't duplicate that measurement. Let's say that I had a measurement that went from right here to right here, okay? If I extended those leading lines, I would figure out that this pair of leading lines matched up exactly with this pair of leading lines, and then I would know that I duplicated that measurement. So I'd want to erase one of them. We only want our measurements on our paper once. We can show them on whatever view we want to, but we only want them there once. Go ahead and sketch this object and try to finish the other dimensions on your own. Remember, our width measurements are gonna be either above our front view or below our top view. Our depth measurements are gonna be to the right of our top view or above our side view. And our height measurements are gonna be to the right of our front view or to the left of our side view. Good luck and let me know if you have any questions.